大家好 ，I'm Nathan Rich, aka 火锅大王。Everyone, I've done a few videos of the inspirational sort. It's important to me that people understand life is challenging, but it's not impossible. We all have a future in which we can succeed, but for many, the pains of life have become too much to handle. Drinking and escapism can set in. I know, I've been there. But let me tell you from experience, there's one thing you don't want to get into. If you've got a drug problem, even performance-enhancing drugs, it's time to stop. I'm talking, of course, to you, Australia. If you've read my book, you know that I've made a great many mistakes in my life, and not only am I not ashamed of them, I went out of my way to tell the world every little detail. That's because who I am now is not the same as who I was when I was a kid. The people who've written me, telling me how my story has helped them make better choices in their lives, make it all worthwhile. But not being ashamed about my past is not the same thing as having no regrets. I'm an individual, though. I have no backers. I have no real responsibilities to this world, and only my cats depend on me. I can live with my regrets. Drugs are dangerous. Believe me when I tell you, they only break you down. They can even change your personality. They can make you lash out at others, accusing them of the same things that you do. They can make you act irrationally and try to hide things. They can also make it difficult to maintain eye contact. It's tough. Let's take one example of someone exhibiting these symptoms for analysis. I'm sure you all remember Sun Yang, the Chinese swimmer. Australian swimmer Mac Horton. Had a very hard time looking him in the eyes after Sun Yang crushed him, and picks up gold. And Rowdy noticed Mac Horton. The side of your screen has not looked at Sun Yang once since they walked nope. up to the podium. Mac lashed out at Sun Yang, accusing him of being a drug cheat. It was a very emotional accusation. But those couldn't be symptoms of drug abuse, right? I mean, we're talking about an Australian here. Australia is not a drug cheat country, not like China. Everyone knows that. The World Anti-Doping Agency is currently trying to overthrow the not guilty ruling in Sun Yang's case. Though he wasn't even accused of doping, they really don't like him. As I reported in my other video, Sun Yang is being accused at this moment of splashing water on someone and even getting into an argument with someone else. Three interns came to his house late at night to snap pictures and take videos of Sun Yang. They tried to do an unauthorized blood sample, but he refused. Good on him. Later, he was found not guilty of any violations, and everything was fine. That was until the World Anti-Doping Agency found out about the situation. Desperate to make themselves look right, they've started a witch hunt to try to smear Sun Yang's career. Had they just sent properly authorized people to Sun Yang's house in the first place, no one would be hearing about any of this. But in a way, it's good that they made this mistake because it's gotten the world to focus on the real problem. Unlike Sun Yang, who again isn't even being accused of doping, it recently came out that Mac Horton's swim team has been doped. Shayna Jack is not the name of a southern cheese. It's actually a female Australian swimmer who enjoys doing drugs or doping. In arguably the most self-defeating display of irony ever seen, Australia tried desperately to hide their team's drug use. And then they tried to call Sun Yang a drug cheat. Then the world found out that the Australian team were the dopers all along. You see what I mean? Drugs break you down. They make you hide things and lash out at others. They make you accuse others of doing the same things you do. And from what we're seeing, it looks like while we now know that Mac Horton's team is doping, maybe he's doping too. He's certainly acting that way. China's not a major doper country, but Australia is. That's right. The worst five doping violation countries by volume are Italy, France, the United States, Australia, and Belgium. China's not even on the worst ten list. It's included with other. But if we isolate for only actual doping, 
and not other infractions, we can compare the rankings. Mainland China is number 10 in the world for being the best. Only nine regions have cleaner records. And Australia? Oh, sorry, that number's 36. In fact, Australia is doping at a rate of about two and a half times what China is. Now, I don't think anyone should be doping, but I also don't think people who are ranked 36th in something should be lecturing people ranked in the top 10 in the world. It just seems, well, irrational. Look, Australia, I know this whole thing seems kind of tongue in cheek, but the message I'm sending to you is real. If your team is doping, please stop taking the drugs, get help because you're lashing out at others, accusing them of what you're doing. You're having a hard time looking at people in the eyes these days, and you've been acting irrationally. You even tried to hide your drug problem. And to the World Anti-Doping Agency, stop chasing your tail trying to save face by persecuting someone who's not even accused of doping, Sun Yang. Instead, why don't you focus on getting the Australian drug den under control? Let's get them to the top 20 by next year. They will hate you for it at first, but once the drugs wear off, they'll thank you for improving their lives. If you're an Australian athlete who's doping, please contact me directly and I'll try to get you help. Thanks everybody. See you. G'day, Mac. Jake Sumer from ABC News here. Look, I just wonder if you had any uh, words about the Shana Jack dispute. 